Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they leave their signs and secrets all around us. In symbolism, it is a they believe in a type of magic even, if you will, of idolic magic or vision boards and such. That's one of the motives of why they put the things all around. And it is also to show all of the sheep what's going on and everybody's been warned, even though nobody can really figure out what any of it means, unless they have been studying these things. You know, 99% of humanity will just walk by all of these and just not care about all these different symbols. M most people do not even know what event in the Bible we're all waiting on. You know, we're all waiting on the book of Revelation, or for the Lord to come, or an Antichrist, when basically what we're waiting on is what's known as a large head wound, a big event that changes the world, <sighs> like America falling, or something happening to the Vatican, a big betrayal upon the whole world. But this is showing, we're going to look today about Bohemian Grove and one of the large elite groups where they meet over here in Bohemian Grove. And we're going to take a look at that area. You can see here that they've been shown worshipping this big owl before right here. And this big owl has also, also been shown to be right in the layouts at Washington, D.C. by the Capitol building, I believe, right here. You can see how it looks like an owl right there. And that's it in the middle. You can see the ears and then the body there. But that's there. Well, I do another thing where I show all around the world how they've left this imagery everywhere. And it's also done by the Father. The whole world is designed to show what's coming. And these guys even put a lot of things in their, their different murals and such. It's a lot about this imagery. The, the idolic magic of it, if you will, something like that. But we're going to go over now and take a look at Bohemian Grove. Because I show things like this all around the world, normally I start off these tapes and I show Washington, D.C. And I've mapped out things from everywhere. Now this is over in Melbourne, Australia. And we're just going to show a quick reference here that shows that this stuff is all around the world, that the New World Order is coming. One of the things on my channel is that I show that the mark of the beast, no matter who is, who, who is going to do it, it's sent by God himself. It is all meant to happen. There's no stopping this. Even if it's Satan that does it or the false prophet, they're, they're being sent by God to do that and they will have their time. It's, both sides are written in the Bible and both sides will happen perfectly the good and the bad, the salvation and the wrath, and a great deception. It's all written there by God for this to happen. So let's check this out right here. So this is Melbourne, Australia. And I've shown how the whole world is mapped out by the Father. They have made all the universe. Jesus Christ, just because he was a shepherd over in Jerusalem in his fleshly body, he didn't just do that. He made all of the universe, every single thing. This right over here is Melbourne, and let's take a look at this right here where I show that this man, oops, that's Berlin. Let's get up to Oz. Right here. You can see right here, this whole inlet is in the shape of this man, perfectly. See his eyes even? Look at that. Now on my channel I keep showing that they're going to be doing something with snakes. Um, I've shown it several times before. But um, it's almost like the new host as they talk of in the book of Daniel. A lot like the Roman Catholic Eucharist but it's going to be different. It's not going. It's going to have something in it. It's called a host. And you can see right here this snake. They're shoving it in this man's mouth. And literally, it has this little hat on it, as I've shown before. See this little hat? 
just as I keep showing with Lady Gaga wearing this little hat because she represents the seed of the woman coming too in her new applause video right there the symbolism is all around us everybody's been warned and then you have the man and then I keep showing they're gonna put like a little tetrahedron hat on them and you can see perfectly right down there the lines and the lines just like that there is a man getting the mark of the beast and this snake thing I keep talking about being shoved right in his mouth right there now let's take this off and let everybody see it for themselves for a moment now that you've seen this all of that's clicked off now now can you see the man here with his eyes you can even see the line for the little hat and we've matched this to a lot I mean I have many different hieroglyphs and things showing this is exactly how the mark of the beast is coming and then you can see the snake thing going in with the eye the mouth and the little hat we keep showing on it I showed this in Washington also they doing this the reptilian this is them blending the DNA this is when the two halves will become one the fifth age this is a great deception and an abomination and it will all be destroyed but doing this will also get rid of like it's like a vacuum for all of the other evil spirits on the earth it, because it's taking away all of the host bodies and then this is all destroyed and it's a way that I mean it's God's wrath and everything else coming and it's the way that all the demons are cleaned up on the earth after this is all destroyed there's no more I mean the earth will be perfect and ready to be you know ready for the next stage of the the millennium for Jesus Christ which will be with no evil spirits but this all this deception will be destroyed right here you can see the hat and you can see the snake with that little hat on him. okay so let's go over to Bohemian Grove and show a few things over there now this is area 51 in the United States where a lot of the UFO things have been talked about they show over here there is an alien influence this is Groom Lake you can see my coordinates right on the screen here and you can see how right here on the screen you can even see this man inside this thing here they're either making clones or he's ready to wake up but they have all this here and they even have this type of alien person here everything's real there's more I mean <laughs> this is universal this is big call out to the Lord Jesus he can hear you right now but this is just to show we're going to over to the Bohemian Grove and there's going to be some aliens over there also shown right there right inside that thing there okay let's go to the Bohemian Grove so this is the Bohemian Grove right here this is the coordinates to this Wikipedia right here where all the guys the presidents and have all been meeting and stuff with their big owl or whatever right here now shown this has a lot to do with the dog star Sirius also and we'll take these coordinates off oops and you can see right here the dog right here where they're all meeting the camp goes all the way down to about like this and what we're waiting on is the beginning of the when the millstone is cast down a millstone means grinding like it's harvesting it's harvest time it's the great tribulation when the millstone starts to roll you can see right here it's at Duncan Mills so we have the dog here and now we show that alien influence let's get rid of some of this and take our time to see this guy first you have the dog and then you have the guy that comes down on top of the dog this guy 
is at a weird angle. It's like this. <clears throat> and he's holding that pill, that host I keep showing that he's going to bring. This thing in his hand. <clears throat> the host, like that snake that he was shoving everybody. He makes everybody eat this thing, but it's going to be something's in this alive in there. But there he is, right there. Take your time to see him. And he's standing on top of the dog. Right here. I've shown this in many different hieroglyphs also. Let's quickly look at this. This is one of the most famous ones in the world called the Dendera chart showing about the end of the age. I've broken this down. And here is one part of it. And it has many cryptic things hidden in there. You can even see Obama's face I believe if you look at just right here at his cheek you'll be able to see that this is his eye and this is his mouth right here and they get this sword for the second horseman of the apocalypse but right down here you can see the they're putting these snakes into people and getting them the mark of the beast right here just like this and it all starts down near the San Onofre power plant area that's been turned off to prepare for this down near Camp Pendleton. See how this one bull looks like two breasts and then this woman fires the arrow at this time. And you can even see the guillotines up here beginning the mark of the beast. But this guy is a spirit. You see the dog here? When this spirit comes down, see this spirit? like goes right into this thing that looks like a large penis but it goes right into this host and now it pushes down the bull which I've shown also represents Syria and nuclear weapons going off because this penis represents nukes that's why we have that guy named John Boner they even though they pronounce his name Bonner you know in Congress all of this is symbolism Obama Obamia but when this happens, this kicks the mask off the man of perdition. And it's the head wound of the Bible. And he's revealed. And that's when the phoenix flies of the rapture. And then they get this sword to go off and make war. And this is supposed to be the little horn of the Bible. See the fin? And then he has a horn right here. Which calls out this eagle and the woman right here which represents a lot of scripture if you know your end time Bible going from there. But now let's show all of this right here. Show this mask coming off. Let's show the mask coming off by the alien and then bring in this host, whatever they're doing right here. Well, let's quickly show this same scenario each time. In this hieroglyph right here, he comes down, goes into Obama with the key for the nukes, his mask is removed and you can see at the same time that is when this dog right here representing the dog star Sirius calls everybody out to launch the Phoenix see the Phoenix right here and the mask would be coming off the man of perdition again which would be Obama and we have that same situation again right here in another part of the world matching the Bible again and this Mayan calendar chart shows the little horn of the Bible coming right here. And at that point in time, this entity up here comes down and goes and crashes onto this dog. See how this is like a dog? And then this phoenix flies. And then this wheel starts to turn. A millstone. The Great Tribulation begins to go on. All of that right here when the little horn of the Bible rises, which matches what we're showing here on Google Earth, which we have the dog, we have the man when he comes down, oops, that's the next guy. We have when he comes down and he has the little host in his hand to give everybody. A host will be cast down from heaven and will prosper for a time for up to three and a half years most likely. This is when he lands on the dog. See the dog below him? And that's when the dog goes off. And we had the same situation in all those different hieroglyphs. 
That's when the phoenix flies. This one's from Egypt. This one's from over in the Mayan places. The same thing. The person comes down, the dog, and the phoenix flies. And if this one's even over the dome over here. And see how this is like an owl? I'm getting pretty deep here. But this is all this same symbolism going on. Now we're here, and in his left hand is a mask. We need him to fulfill this little part here. We need the man of perdition revealed. Right here. Right? When this comes down, it happens. He comes down. He has the little mask in his other hand right here. And he reveals this other guy right over here. And this is why I keep saying it. They show this stuff in the movies all the time. This is Obama being revealed right here. And his character is even shown in a lot of the movies in Star Wars with Steven Spielberg. I mean, half the things he writes is about what this event that's coming. This is Admiral Akbar right here with Islam. Akbar, Allah Akbar. That is him right there with his right eye darkened or messed up. So what you have here is oops, sorry. Him being revealed. Matching each and everything we keep showing and matching the Bible. Oh, whoa, excuse me. Got stuck there. There we go. He comes down on the dog. He has the host and blows all the nukes because he's revealed and the man of perdition is revealed all at the same time. Everything's perfect. This is Washington, D.C., and it shows the little horn of the Bible right here inside this box ready to come out with this check mark. It's the mark of the beast with that host right here. You can see him right there like death with a great deception. And you can see how like he or she has breasts here. <laughs> this is a spiritual entity coming with this host right here that will prosper for a time. And this will change humanity. It will blend the DNA. And then at the end of this time it will all be destroyed. It's all a great deception sent by God himself. It's the hard thing to realize. Trust in the Lord Jesus. They can hear us right now. Call out to him. There you go. Okay, here's the Bohemian Grove. We can see that it's right by Duncan Mills is where this guy is. Like the millstone coming again. And we can see even in his hand they make sure to name the place. Cassini like a casino and rains Ryan's sandy beach like the rains <laughs> this is like a crapshoot right here they're also looking for like their Neo just like that movie in the Matrix make their little super soldiers or whatever they're gonna do for this time as they say but that's it's showing everything we've been showing on my channel over and over again all matching scripture let's take all this off so everybody can start to see it for themselves. Make this level. Right about there. Let's leave it there. You have the dog. The alien guy. And Admiral Akbar over here. I'm taking off his thing. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Call out to him. As they say, he can hear us. It's all real. May he have mercy upon us all. There's a lot more here. Of course there is. This is done by the spiritual realms. They can move and shape the whole earth this way. Let's keep on searching.
Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.